Are you ready to evolve? It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Ogono Art Family. Today, we're going to be talking about subconscious reinforcements. And so, what are subconscious reinforcements and what will subconscious reinforcements do for you? And so, subconscious reinforcements are helpful for people that want to enhance their visual library. And so, subconscious reinforcements can come in terms of of posters or you know anatomical posters or perspective posters or you know posters that show different angles of the face you know all kinds of things that you would like to get an understanding of into your mind and the more you look at these posters the more you'll get a, a subconscious download as to what these posters mean what they look like and you know you'll, you'll just have a grasp of it so that you can better uh, draw these these images from imagination and so how there is a catch to this uh, first you want to have a, a deep understanding of what you're drawing and so I'll come to that later on and so for a beginner artist it'll be a lot more easier to reinforce the basic geometric shapes such as this the square the cylinder will be a lot more easier to grasp as opposed to understanding the flesh and the contour of the anatomy and and so in the beginning as as you're studying art you're actually doing the physical practice you can also post some of your physical practice and your notes onto the wall or so just so that you can get a grasp as to how things work so that you can apply that to your artwork and the more you're looking at it constantly visually and the fact that you drew it and, it, and it's hanging on your wall on your wall it'll, you'll you'll get that reinforcement and eventually after uh, a month or so you'll you'll start to uh, see yourself remembering these these uh, these notes that you've posted on your wall and applying them into your drawing and so that way you know you can keep changing your notes or your posters that, that are on the wall every time you look or seek for new challenges to into your visual library and so before you put anything on your wall for subconscious reinforcement you want to make sure that you're able to to draw it physically and at the same time you want to make sure you understand what's going on and so if you have an anatomy poster at first glance it may just look like an anatomy poster with a bunch of labels on it that that points towards the muscle but if you study each individual muscle alone on your own time or through youtube tutorials or so or just looking at books or reading books or so you can start to download everything that you studied from that just by looking at that poster so if you see a particular por portion such as the serratus anterior uh, of that uh, of that muscle. It won't just be the serratus anterior, and you look and you see the label of it. It'll be the serratus anterior, and since you studied it, you will understand that the serratus anterior has a function that allows the arm to be uh, pushed forward. You know, so more important to you know physically be able to draw these these items first before you start to ingrain it into your visual visual library you know you want to just have an understanding of it so subconscious reinforcements was one of the four tips in my video four tips to studying anatomy and i feel you know if you're watching this video i feel you'll also benefit from four tips to studying anatomy because i included uh, other other tips the other three tips are really unique so you know i'd recommend you check that out and if you have any co uh, comments or you know suggestions or, or as to what i should do next i'll leave so in the comments below i know someone commented that they wanted me to do some drawing tutorials and whatnot i will be doing that soon just just give me give me a few more just give me a a few more weeks to get more comfortable you know and you'll see some drawing tutorials up on this channel so yeah that will be the video. Peace out.